Did you know that you can update your camera and your lenses firmware? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's get started. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update your camera's firmware and your lens's firmware. Now the lens and the camera, it's the same method. I'm gonna show you on the camera and you'll be able to figure it out from your lens, but I'm using Canon cameras. I'm gonna show you on the Canon R5 how to update the firmware on the camera and the firmware on the lens. The first thing you wanna do is to find the, the new firmware. So what you wanna do is look on the Canon, Canon website for your country, either US or whatnot. What I do is I just search in my search browser. Uh, I search the camera name, and update or lens name and update. So in this case, Canon R5 firmware update. I search it, I look for the one for the USA, which is the top one here. So I go ahead and I click that one. Once I do that, it brings me to the Canon R5 page. In this case, I'm gonna click drivers and downloads, which will take me down to the bottom. Click the firmware button, which is in the middle right here. And then I'm using a Mac. So I'm gonna download the firmware update for the Mac. And you'll notice it says version 1.1.1. .1 .1. So click select, click I read, I have read and agree the terms, download. Once that downloads, which depending on your internet speed shouldn't take too long, once you get it downloaded, you're going to double click on the file and un oh, unzip it basically. Once you've unzipped it, open it up and take the FIR file and you're gonna put that on your SD card that you use in your camera. So go ahead and drag and drop that onto the SD card. Once you have the file on your SD card, take the SD card out of your computer, put it into your camera, turn your camera on, go to the yellow menu options, I believe it's number five, scroll down to firmware. Now you'll notice here that it says for mine version 1.1.1, so it's already updated, but I'm just walking you through. Then click camera and okay because it'll say current version is 1.1, update firmware, press okay. It'll then find the file on the SD card. It'll update a screen. It'll upload a screen like this and it'll say what it could update to. It'll read what is on the SD card. So in this case, the current version is 1.11 and I could update it to 1.11. So I don't need to do that. So I'm not gonna do that now, but if that is the proper one, press okay and let it update. Make sure that your battery is full because you're not gonna to wanna to turn your camera on, press any buttons, anything during this time. You're just gonna simply want to let it go through its motions. It takes anywhere from two to 15 minutes. I'm, I'm not sure how long it took when I did it. And once it's done, it'll just simply say, okay, camera updated. Now to do the lenses, it's the exact same technique. Simply search online for the lens, type in Canon RF 1535 firmware update, find the right product, uh, click downloads and drivers, click firmware, find the proper firmware update. And the thing is you have to have that particular lens attached to the camera when you do the update. So you can't necessarily update your 7200 with the 1535 on it or update the 24105 if you don't even have it. You actually have to have that particular lens on the camera for the camera to update the lens. It's the same process. You put the FIR file onto the SD card from your computer, put the SD card in the camera, go through the same motions, except you click camera lenses or lenses in this case, and then update them as needed. But it is a really good way to keep your cameras up to date, working on the new software. Sometimes they streamline things, fix some bugs. To give you an idea, I had a Canon 6D for two years and didn't even know it had an update. Got it all updated and it's beautiful. So you might be surprised to find what updates that you have available for your camera. So go ahead, look them up and get your cameras and lenses up to date because then they will run much smoother. And that's it for this video. Super quick, super easy. Give it a like if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will try and respond to every single comment that I get. Otherwise, I will see you guys next Monday. Hope this was helpful.